Hello everyone and welcome to the next Learn to Love. Now this one, I say this a lot, but this one is going to be slightly different. For those of you who don't know what Learn to Love is, and this is the first one you're watching, Learn to Love is when I pick a game that has been very poorly received by either the players or the reviewers, and I take a look at the game completely impartially, giving it a genuine review on the merits of the game for what you get for your money. I am not bothered about what people are expecting to get, what you've been offered or what people have claimed would be in the game. It is 100% honest at just is what you get worth the money you've had to pay. Now, the reason this one is different is because I don't honestly know that this was poorly received. In fact, it probably wasn't that badly received at all. I, I am not happy because I am the kind of person who really wanted these style of games to work really well. The style of games where you get a base game and you play it and you have fun and it's enjoyable and you can buy toys of some kind, it will give me extra stuff for that game. But all I have found so far are games that are part games because half the content at least is locked behind the figures and you can buy the starter pack and it gives you the base game but the majority of it is locked and you've got to buy a whole bunch of other pieces just to really play a decent chunk of the game and that is a ripoff it is a con and should be illegal the whole of the game should be playable with the starter pack with all the other bits and pieces you purchase just a bonus and you see that is where i think all these games went wrong and honestly that is really what i'm hoping this game is gonna be now i am a massive fan of no man's sky and when people first saw the advert for this on the Switch E3 announcement, the first few minutes, people genuinely thought that it was No Man's Sky for the Switch and got extremely excited. So I am hoping that this is a good game. I have the physical version for the Switch with the toys, which means I have the Star Fox bonus ship and character. I'm gonna play the game Normally, this series would last for four episodes. There's a chance it might be longer just to see how the gameplay goes. See if I stick to four. Depends on how the game is going at that point. Um, but, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll play it by ear and see how we go. Um, and to be honest, I just really want this game to work 100% with the base set. I do not want to have to buy any extra bits and pieces for the game to fundamentally work. Now, before we get into the game, I was actually quite lucky as well, because after I loaded this game up, it has flashed at me that I'm gonna have access to another person and uh, more weapons as well, just for this weekend, it's like a bonus thing. So I probably won't have them in the other episodes for this video, which will probably just be this one but again, we'll, we'll get into that once we get it. All right, so let's go into it. Okay, that is the ship that I have um, on the dock in front of me. It's bigger than I thought it was going to be, I will say. Even if you look at it, it still looks bigger, really. And there you go, down at the bottom it says, uh, for this weekend, we get a weapon pack and a person. So... Once we get into the game, we'll give those a quick try. So, uh, new game, we'll select the middle game. And what we got? Easy, normal, hard, very hard. Let's just do normal for now. After making contact with an alien that crashed on Earth, Victor St. Grand secretly recruited a team of pilots to explore the stars. He named the alien Judge and called the team the Starlink Initiative. 
Aboard their Nova-powered mothership, the team arrives in the Atlas star system seeking answers about Judge's origins. Ooh, that's fancy. Oh, nice. So they literally cut their way through this space. We're here. Atlas. Jewel of the Pleiades. Look! Welcome to Atlas. Oh, man, I'm gonna get so many hits back on Earth. No, you're not. Levi? No one's supposed to know about this. I'm looking to change that. Chase, Levi. One of you will need to be outside to help Hunter with the escort. Okay. Wait! He said one of us. <laughs> Scans off St. Grand. It's incredible. I can't believe you've been doing this for a whole year. Our third trip. Hasn't gotten old yet. It was Alkiani last, now Atlas. The artifact we're collecting here might just be the breakthrough we need. We're closer than ever now. I know it. Proximity warning. These guys don't like it when you steal from them. Sensitive types. Could use a little help here. She's not gonna make it. Get to the Equinox. We're coming. I'll man the bridge. Judge, take Mason with you to the hangar. We need to buy time for me to jumpstart the engine. Are you sure? Maybe I should help you in the reactor. They've never used Starlink before. Go show them what it can do. Take my ship. You're ready. Right now, he is the other little figure that I got because I have Star Fox and I have him. That is the other ship I think that I should have got. All of these ships you can see are the bonus ones that you can purchase, I believe. And I'm gonna assume you get these specific people with each of these ships. Warning, cooling cycle terminated. You think that's bad? Now this is the ship that you get with the other starter packs. Um, that one. So I think I have access to this ship, but I don't have the model of this ship, which is a bit of a of an annoyance because I don't know that I can change to the ship if I don't physically have it. <gasps> oh, Star Fox! seeing this yeah but it's not wolf so who cares it looks like they're outnumbered you know what i'm thinking absolutely <sighs> positively not we came here for one reason and one reason only and that is to take down Ugh. i knew i should have retired back on corn area See, now those are the ship. I have one of those ships. And its wings will move up and down, it's cool. Yeah, there you go. Those look blue. Oh, God, here we go. Oh, fine. Okay, so what is it? Right, so the left one moves forward and backwards. The right one is looking. Oh, these controls are awkward. Now, if you may have noticed, I haven't put any weapons on this at all. Apparently, yeah, it has its own... Uh, lasers, there you go, look. I don't think they're gonna home in, so I'm gonna have to hit, actually hit them. Oh, here we go, we got some, got some firepower here. 
Oh, I can charge them up as well. That's pretty decent. Uh, oh, where are we going? We're going for this one. We're going for you. Yep. Yeah, oh, oh, some of them homed. Then I charged it up that high, so that's decent. I got one. Okay, I'm not doing bad, actually. Oh, I'll tell you what, space battles are probably the worst thing that I have in No Man's Sky. I die almost every time. Uh, oh, nope, I'm going to get you out. I'm going to fly right into you. Did that work? Did I kill it? No? Nope. Oh, God. What's that? That's not an enemy. Okay. Oh, there's two of them. Hey! See that? That is essentially what we have the ability to do. Take him with us. Who are these people? No. These definitely look like Ah, oh, it EMP'd us. Okay, so we're all going to crash on this what? planet, are we? It looks like. <laughs> no, 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 no! There we go. What's going on? He's gone. They took St. Grant. What? No. All units, brace yourselves. We're going down. No. Oh. oh. Equinox pilots, come in. The Equinox has crashed. Huh? All units, report in. Boys, I'm here. I survived. Do you read me? I repeat, the Equinox has crashed. All pilots... Right, so I am controlling the camera, by the way. I look now like I'm upside down. Through. All this interference. I think I am. Uh, oh, recover. Okay. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. Flight engines are down. Guess I'm on reserve power. Gotta find the boys. Right, okay. Hey, I can still fire. Hey, <laughs> look at that. And then you zoom up. Now, that one attached itself. So that's handy to know. But I am going to attach some weapons in a minute. Because I do have some weapons. Um, air wings also have built-in lasers. Yes, I know that. I've been using them already. There it is. Look at that. Pow, 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 pow. This was the blue one with ice on it. Uh, oh, nice. So, like, ice missiles, I suppose. And then the other one that we have, um, I'm going to put on the right wing now, is fire cannon. Oh, there. Yeah. Oh, but that doesn't really go very far. And look, it's light to the grass. Oh, I like that. It's got, like, area attacks and things. That's cool. That's cool. All right, so now what is this stuff? This is like buildings and things. Oh, what was that? Did I get like... <gasps> I got 200 somethings. You see that in the top left-hand corner? I blew up whatever those crates were. Oh, what? oh, great. Well, now I've got to go and looking for things. Okay. Um, it looks like there might only be one way through here, though. 
Uh, I'm gonna take the fire gun off. Because I like the idea of having a laser. But I also, I think the fire one's a bit too restrictive. It's very close up to attack with it. Whereas the missile seems, yeah, the missiles are quite decent. Okay. See, this, all these structures look like there's definitely something here before us. Ooh, there's water. Not sure that there's anything there. Oh, okay. No, nope, can't destroy it. That's clearly like a buggy of some kind. Oh, what's this? That's a dead person. Oh, there's another one. They look like dead people. What are these? You want a death. Enemy analysis complete. Imps. Back Recommended weapon, flamethrower. Lovely. Uh, I haven't got either of the other two. So, we have a flamethrower. Uh, but I'm not going to use it. Um, I have my laser. And I have my ice. So, let's see. If... Okay, yeah, look. We're killing them. Um, they're getting up close. So, maybe that's why they recommend fire, perhaps. But no, look at that. We killed them. We didn't do too badly there at all. Oh, look, that one's trying to run into a wall. Pow. Oh, yeah, look, fine. So, fire's not needed, so that's handy to know, because that means we don't necessarily have to use the weapons that they reckon we have. Yeah. It looks like whatever those oh, creatures are, they're definitely... They Looks definitely like attacked ship. whoever else was on there as well. Oh, what now? Enemy analysis oh, Cyclops. Recommend Frost Barrage, Volcano, Iron Fist. Okay, well, we've got the Frost, so that's alright. Uh, I mean, it's definitely froze them, so that's, that's handy, because then I can shoot at them. Although, it doesn't appear to be doing a massive amount of damage. Maybe we should try the ice and the fire together, but then that restricts us to having specific weapons for specific enemies, and I don't want the game to do that, so... We'll see. Well, that's clearly our ship in front of us. Hey! You're the last one to report in, but I never doubted you for a second. Peppy, everyone okay? Fox, is it? Well, we were ambushed. Whoever attacked us kidnapped our captain during the battle. We appreciate your help, though. Well, they're not gonna get away with that. Come on, let's go get them. We can't. Those freaks who took St. Grand also stole our reactor. There's a backup, but until we get more fuel, we're not going anywhere. Hmm, gotta be something we can do here. Maybe there is. I rigged our tech with their ship. Check out your map. Stick the flamethrower on because we have it, so there's your ship. You should be able to see everything within the scan radius. The rest of the planet's uncharted territory for now. Razor, I am picking up an alien signal nearby. You think someone's out there? Worth checking out. Feel free to give the map a spin. Not much to it now, but once we explore more of this place, it'll definitely come in handy. So it's quite a big planet, I will give it that. But I'm not going to go straight to this question mark. Um, I'm going to get rid of my collection first. Ah, I hate these things. There you go, and I'll probably cut all that out. You don't need to see what these things are. Um, but I can't... Oh, here we go. I want to try and see if I can change my ship to the other ship we've got. Okay, there it is. No. 
it's not letting me choose it maybe i need to take the controllers off of this specific thing so i'm going to do that and then i'll come back and we'll hey, see if it works I'll go see what's Ooh, after this be careful we don't know what's out there uh i'll tell you one thing that's out there a bunch of killer robots yeah we've only been here a week but we've taken out a lot of them there's just no reasoning with those things bunch of pests if you ask me yeah well bring them on they make good target practice all right so let's try it now all right so it all looks normal it all still looks oh hold on what's this attach a mount ah push a to play digitally so that should allow me to then play this without the mount and the ships Oh, and there's that, uh, there's the new guy. So we have the two that I physically have, and we have the new guy. Okay, well, let's try this guy. As we only have, what, nine, ten hours left? Ooh, what's this? Nice, okay. Um, and then we want to try... So we've got the air wing and we've got the zenith. So we'll try the zenith. This is the new ship. I say new ship. This is a technically the starter ship for everyone else. Oh, and now we're probably going to have to stick weapons on it, aren't we? Oh yeah, these are the new weapons. Okay, so we'll, okay, well we'll have that one on this side. And we will, hold on, push wrong button, sorry. Um, and there you go, we'll pick this weapon for this side. So these are the new weapons we get to try. I'm assuming if we buy his character pack, we'll probably get these weapons with him, maybe. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Right, okay, so you can technically play. Ooh. And that's like a sound wave attack. Okay, well, they seem very limited. So I don't like the idea of both of these together. But we'll see how it goes. I'm going to go and have a look at whatever this thing is. Whatever this thing is here. Uh, okay. Well, they're all falling over. These weapons aren't very good. Yeah. Well, these things, I think, were supposed to be like fire and ice, weren't they? Oh, hold on. There's people shooting at me from the side as well. Ow. Okay, this is not great. Um, this is actually... This is actually really hard because I can't just put the fire and ice weapon back. Uh, because I don't want to pause the game. I have to. I have to pause the game. It's not working well. Um, I'm going to go back to the... I'm going to have the, uh, the ice, the fire. What's this one? It's like a shredder. And then we'll have the ice, because the ice is decent. So we'll have the ice, and we'll try the shredder. I think the shredder is the base cannon for this. See, that's better. That's a lot better, but my life isn't doing very well. Um, I'm not really dodging very successfully. Or oh, I'm going to die. Well, we're going to see what happens when when you die in a minute. This is a test. It's merely a test. Ah, oh, there we go. Use a new ship. Oh, I only have one ship left. Oh, nice. Okay, so I can go. I can now use my uh, my main ship. And now let's use fire and ice and see. If I can get to it.
Here we go. I've got weird art. Well, I don't know why it's given me the other ship's arms. That's just weird. Oh, well, there we go. We're all sorted now. Now, fire and ice should be the perfect weapon. So we go ice them up, fire, thermal shock, and it blew up. Now, that is a worry. That is a worry in that some enemies are going to be very specific weapon types to kill. And if I don't own those weapons, I'm going to struggle. Don't like the idea of that. That's very much not what I want this game to be. Okay, well, it looks like we killed them all anyway. So I only had two left at that point. What's this? Cold canister. Can I blow it up? Oh, good. Oh, nice. So it's like a... An explosive canister. Let's see what's up here. I can jump. And I can boost as well, I think. <gasps> Ooh, more things. Oh, yeah, I get more of that yellow stuff in the corner. I don't know if it's money or experience, but I'll take it. Ooh, I've got a booster. An XP booster. And a handling booster. And a speed booster. I found loads of boosters here. That's cool. Plus, it looks like this. Oh no, there's some up there. Can I jump and get them? Out, push wrong button. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> just, I just. I tried to land on it and I boosted straight over it. I might just try and jump and shoot instead. There it is. Oh, we've got some of it. Yay! Okay. And now we're going to go all the way over there, maybe. There's nothing over there. Right. Oh, I went straight over. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, what's that? Drill bit. Can I pick that up? Oh, hold on. Hold it down. Oh, hold on. What was that? I got one metal out of five. One out of five metal. Do I need a radium cell? Oh, that's two of five. That's three of five. So is this stuff I'm collecting what I need to rebuild my craft then? Because there were three things up there, weren't there? And this is three of five. That should get me onto the base there. Whoa! I, I boosted two. <laughs> and I'm just going to collect all of this yellow stuff, whatever that is. Oh, I've got an energy booster as well. Nice. Oh, I can see him. Lovely. So, so far, the kind of movement and the exploration is fine it takes a little bit of getting used to um the space controls were much harder um because i expect to be pushing a trigger to, to to go uh not the forward to go it's a bit weird that way but yeah other than that it's i mean there's definitely seems to be a decent amount of exploration going on Oh, look at all the blue stuff down there. Oh, they're canisters. Oh, but that's a cell. I'll have that. There must be one more here somewhere. There we go. Exactly what I thought. Five out of five. Now, I don't know if what I've collected are five out of five here in this area. Oh no, my inventory is full. So maybe that is what I'm after. Five of each of those three things will give me boosts and let me build the ship control that I need.
So let's see if we can get back up here because there was definitely something over here. Oh, for God's sake, I went straight back over again. Oh, okay. I'm only going to try this once more. <laughs> um, I don't know. I think the boosting is throwing me off because he seems to be boosting straight over. Oh, God, I nearly went straight over. All right, let's just jump. Pull back. Okay, there we go. I did it. Um, let's see if there's anything down here. Because you never can tell. I don't know that I missed anything. Out. 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 There we go. Uh, I was really hoping there would be something up here. But there doesn't appear to be. Okay, fine. So let's work our way up here. Because this looks like the, the main thing. The main point that I haven't been to yet. And I've got a lot of yellow stuff. Now it says, what's this? This is a ruin. Oh wow, there's 17 ruins. 17 wrecks, one wonder. Wow, there's a lot. All right, well, let's attach um, one of these things that we've got. It's showing it here. Oh, yeah, look, there they are. Common, 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 common. Oh, all regular. What do we want? Hover boost, handling boost, energy boost. I don't know what we need energy for yet, but let's boost the energy. That makes a lot of sense. Lovely. Okay. Well, that will help. Uh, oh, hold on. We can go up here. Nice. Well, that's handy. I didn't have to jump. Although, I feel I'm going to have to jump this. Alright, I'm not boosting. I'm just going to hold the jump. Hey! Oh, that worked perfectly. Oh, what's this? A cache. Oh wow, a crap load and a tank core one. That is cool. Oh, let's blow this up. Oh crap, that hurt me. <laughs> oh, these things. I didn't realise those things I was standing around were explosives. Okay, well that looks like I've completed this this um this area. So that should be one of seventeen down in theory. Okay, well, um, let's go and have a look. It doesn't show us one complete, so I'm not sure what I need to do here. Maybe I need to go and save someone first, and then they'll say, you need to do this kind of thing. Okay. Um, so, there you go. That is the first part of learn to love starlink now it's coming along nicely i'm not that bad about it it's quite fun um i did see an enemy over here on the map but they seem to have disappeared all right let's grab whatever this is before we go oh i've already got that Oh, that's annoying. All right. Um, so, uh, oh, hold on. What's these? What are these things? Bone fruit. Uh, oh. Yep. Apparently that's called bone fruit. Real appetizing. It's not a plant, but a kind of parasite. Ugh. Oh, and this is organic. Oh, nice. So if I grab five of these before we leave, then I've got two of the three things it's asking me to get. And it looks like there are five here anyway, so I can grab this. Perfect. All right. Well, as I collect these, I will thank you very much. Um, I say it again. This has been... 
learn to love Starlink. So there will be another three videos minimum. There might be more depending on what we can get done in that time, but I'm enjoying it so far. Um, we're not that far into the game itself, but we've learned the controls and we get into grips with it. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you come along with me on this journey and we can see whether it's worth playing or whether they're just going to try and rip us off by buying more bits and pieces. So can you please like and subscribe? Please take a look at some of my other videos and I'll see you again next time.